This will be our first run at looking at a finished wall fountain, the one that uh, we've been showing you off and on for a little, a little bit too long now. Seems like this has taken um, easily twice what it should have. And I think that's just the nature of the beast. I, I, I may never learn, but and I've said it to many people, many clients, many students and friends, water just doesn't cooperate. It never does exactly what you want it to do. And um, that was absolutely true here in ways that are very difficult to describe now, although one of the issues is I very much had intended for this water to fall in a complete wide, two foot wide sheet. It's approximately um, 20 inches actually all the way to the bottom. Well, we know that water has an affinity to itself, and if you just let it fall off of a spill or off of a, the face of a dam, for instance, uh, just into open air, it will always pull back into uh, a fine point by the time it reaches about 10 feet or so. Here we're traveling about five feet, and it's about half the width when it gets to, um, gets to the, um, the tank. And that's not adjustable. And the difference is, when we first showed this fountain, and we were experimenting, we had a very unfinished spillway. So it was much, much rougher. It wasn't as refined and polished. This copper, with the colors on it that we struggled and worked and got some very, very rich tones, has four layers of um, an acrylic, not acrylic, um, the same stuff that you build boats out of, except we don't use any fiberglass. It's just a clear resin is the word I'm looking for. On top of that, we have four quarts coats of lacquer. On top of that, we have four to six coats of wax, which, by the way, it should be waxed periodically. Probably every four to six months would be nice, depending on frequency of use. But um, the other thing that we changed and I'm very uh, distraught, not terribly distraught, but I was unhappy. We had lighting built in. Very bright, very blue bright lighting with LEDs. They stole so much of the color out of this beautiful backdrop that um, we're going to forego it. It had little pinpoint spots of light up and down, and it was very bright blue, and it actually took away from it. I left it in until just yesterday, and I fought it and fought it and fought it. And I finally decided it takes so much away from the look of this piece. And now I have, for today's discussion, I have the house lighting and then three other um, not particularly strong spotlights, which is work lights is shining on it. So hopefully in the final setting, this will be approximately what you'll be able to put onto it. Because it really pops. I, I hate that word. Everybody uses it, but it does. It really, really jumps off the page when you see that. Um, that meant that the um, switching, where I had two switches before, now there's only one. I had to rebuild that switch area. And um, it actually looks a little bit cleaner, so that was a small bonus. And um, then this morning, I just came out, much to my dismay, and found some water creeping past places where it shouldn't be. And uh, I was very, very upset about that. And then I realized that some of the adjustment that I had built into it was exactly what I needed, and we got rid of that. So let's see if I can show you um, just a little more up and down shots here, right up at the top. You'll see um, a little bit of brass. We talked about doing something else on there before, where we might have been able to hang some various seasonal decoration. And we can do that too on this little piece of brass that's up here. Lightly colored, darkened a little bit, with little openings. You can hang Christmas balls and ghosty things at Halloween and to whatever you felt like doing. It'll be fun to play with. And then down at the bottom, 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 um, nothing but some nice uh, texture there to show you. So we'll do a quick walk around now. Let's see, I guess I've got to leave it on my little miniature tripod. Let's give this a try. And uh, huh, if, I, if I do that, then that makes the viewer have to tip over, doesn't it? That's not very smart. So, oh, um, let's do this, by the way. There I have them showing you this thing with a great big gaping hole here that the viewer might say, what the 
Are you going to finish it or not? And yes, we are. This little piece, which I think I've showed you before, is the go-to guy that takes care of that. Now, the other holes on the other side, pardon my back, you can't see from this view, but they have pieces that go on here as well. Let me bring the camera around. We'll show you the, uh, the switching mechanism now. It's um, uh, just this simple up or down, off, and on. And yet, from a little distance, that just sort of looks like a little bit more of the multiple layers of texture. Now, we'll put the covers on those other holes. I think we've dubbed this thing now the, um, decided to call it the scrap fountain. Because it kind of looks like we just built it out of scrap. In fact, that's not the case. There were a very, very, very few pieces of leftover material that we used, but for the most part, probably 90 to 95 percent were all brand new pieces, cut, textured, fitted, and placed accordingly to give just a plethora. How's that? Is that a good word? A plethora of texture and uh, bright spots and dark spots. Little bits of color. I see a little bit of green here. I stuck a little bit of green on a little odd shaped piece in there. But look at the colors in there. Look at that. I love the spillway. We did get... Well, let me say this. I got what I hoped for. I had actually thought it might be a little bit brighter. But when you see this in real light and, and up close, it's just rich as can be. So I hope that this will be well received when we take it. Plan to install on the 29th of... December, this is 2012. This is Christmas Day, in fact. It's exactly what it is. Don't feel sorry for me. This is exactly what I want to be doing, and I'm having a good time. My son couldn't come up. He called in sick. <laughs> called in sick for Christmas. And we're going to have Christmas next week. So I'm out in the shop, in a warm shop, having a good time. And uh, all is good. So... Uh, that'll be it for now, hopefully, and perhaps until we install it, we'll get one more shot of it then, and this is all for now.